So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, la tulhikum amwalukum wala awladukum an dhikrillah. Allah says, O oh, you who believe, don't let your wealth, your possessions, whatever you have, or whatever you seek, and don't let your family, your children, don't let them take your attention away from the remembrance of Allah. Allah is saying amongst the most precious gifts that He has given you is what you possess. The wealth, the assets, the possessions that you have and the possessions that you expect to have and that you are seeking as your work, as your business, as your profession, as your career which is a great blessing from Allah and it is halal and it's something you are supposed to have you are supposed to enjoy it's part and parcel of you being a human being and your children your family that is a great part of your life and one of the great blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he created us in this way that we human beings do not come into this life singular live singular and leave singular that's not the way humans are supposed to go through this life. Allah designed us in our default state that we want to connect. This is why Allah created spouses for us from among ourselves. And He enabled us to procreate and have children so we can experience compassion. We can experience care and parenthood. And we can experience different types of relationships that bring about the best in us. These are great blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But in this advice, Allah is drawing our attention to the fact that these blessings that I have given you to make your life more meaningful, to make your life more productive, to make your life more enjoyable, to make your life more rewarding. I'm giving you these things, but they should not exceed their limit. They should not deter you. They should not distract you from the main purpose behind your existence in this world. And that's to connect to your Creator.